Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today we're gonna fight the solar eclipse in Terraria. And the solar eclipse in Terraria is one of the more difficult events in Terraria, as most of you will know. And obviously it happens during the daytime, it's one of the only events that happen during the daytime. Of course everything else happens during the night. And that also means it's one of the longer events as well, because the daytime is slightly longer than the nighttime in Terraria. And in the solar eclipse, we're going to be fighting many different enemies, but the main enemy we're looking for is Mothron. And most of you will know already that Mothron can be quite difficult. And so if you watch how I do it, you'll see one of the best ways to take out Mothron. So what we're using today for the solar eclipse is we're using the Mega Shark, the godly Mega Shark. We're using Chlorified Bullets as well, so we don't really have to worry about aiming. And we have a lot of buffs going on as well. So when it comes to the enemies that you want to watch out for and, and try not to get killed by, of course, the vampires are one of the more difficult ones because they tend to have a lot of health and they can fly. But one of the more difficult ones, of course, is the Hellraisers that you can see me shooting um, just in the middle of your screen. They have a large amount of health and they shoot little spikes at you that do really big damage, especially if you get hit by multiple of them. They go out in all directions and they tend to fall back to earth as well. So they're, they have a lot of different things that they do that make them very difficult to dodge. And also they, they do a lot of damage. So definitely one of the more difficult of the enemies. And it doesn't help, of course, when you have wyverns coming on and trying to attack you as well during the uh, solar eclipse. I think if you take the solar eclipse into account, it increases the spawn of everything. So of course, you're going to have spawns of other enemies as well, unfortunately, including wyverns. And when you're fighting a wyvern, probably one of the best things to do is to actually think of it as a skipping rope. And as the head of the wyvern comes down to get you, jump over its head and let the body kind of slide underneath your legs. Then you land on the ground, wait until it turns around and does the same thing. And just literally use wyverns as a skipping rope and, and you will eventually kill it. They take a lot of damage. I have, of course, got good weapons against wyverns at the moment. But if you're earlier game, just be patient. You will kill them eventually with the skipping rope tactic. So there isn't really that many other enemies in this event that are very dangerous. I mean, at the end of the day, it depends on when you are fighting. Uh, one of the most important things to get the from the solar eclipse is the broken hero swords. But one of my favorite weapons used to be the debt sickle. And this weapon it kind of fell off. I think they might have nerfed it a little bit. The range never seems to be as good as it used to be. And you always seem to get it later on in the game, of course. And the damage seems to not be as great. But it used to be one of my favorite weapons. And one of the main reasons why it was one of my favorite weapons was because it's able to shoot through walls, which I find very useful. So what I usually do against Mothron is this is kind of a little bit... This particular one is a little bit awkward compared to the other ones we'll fight, but I like to bring it onto my sky bridge so that it can charge me. I can jump over its head and then I can go the opposite direction and or I can jump back over its head and continue the chain of running in a straight line. Most enemies, once you get to a certain point in Terraria, you just want to have to be able to outrun them. And one of the best ways to outrun them is to have a sky bridge and run along it. Of course, if you are using the coal or the charcoal uh, blocks, then you'll be able to run a lot faster. But I'm only using wooden blocks, especially since the Mothron isn't great. It's not going to be too difficult to, to fight. Of course, you can get the Cthulhu uh, yo-yo. I don't usually use yo-yos in Terraria as much. Maybe that will be a challenge run for me in the future since I don't use them, so I won't be as good with them. Uh, but there are one or two times where yo-yos are very useful. And in this particular instance, yo-yos are one of the strongest things you can use, especially with the I have Cthulhu yo-yo. Um, just a 
quick heal here and then back down to our little mini arena. My little home arena that I fight most of the enemies on in the Solar Eclipse is just a basic arena. It's nothing special. It's only for things like this, just normal enemies. But when I'm fighting Motron and I guess Wyverns as well, I like to go up to the Sky Bridge. And I have the nurse nearby as well, just in case I ever need to use her and get my health back to full. So, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't exactly make it easier trying to find the two of them at the same bloody time. But at least it makes it a bit more difficult because at my level of armor and defense and weaponry, the Solar Eclipse is not really that big of a deal. Mothron, of course, the only really major da uh, danger in the event. And if I'm not careful, uh, Mothron will kill me, especially when it does this charge attacks. But definitely recommend like just going in a straight line as soon as it jumps either over your head or around you jump over its head and continue the chain over and over again. So obviously going to take down some of these other enemies and clear up the area a little bit. We still haven't gotten any broken hero swords, which is unusual. You can make your own solar eclipse, of course. You don't need to wait for the natural one to spawn. So if you are farming for broken hero swords, you can create more. Um, I used to get at least one per solar eclipse, but for some reason I didn't get lucky so far in this solar eclipse anyway and we're gonna just farm these Mothrons as much as possible this event doesn't have a bar as you can see in the bottom right corner it doesn't have a percentage bar it's all about time so you have until nighttime pretty much before solar eclipse ends so towards the end of solar eclipse you're going to get lots of Mothrons try and farm as many of them as possible to get whatever items you're looking for including the um the broken hero swords but yeah 100 percent try and get as many of these guys down before i believe half past 7 p.m so we're coming up to six o'clock p.m at the moment we have an hour and a half of in-game time to farm mothrons i don't think i've ever seen two mothrons spawn at the same time as well unlike in the pumpkin moon event and frost moon event so you kind of have to try and dispatch of the mothron uh quickly if you want to farm them as a, you can see i'm using the daedalus stormbow for crowd control in this one just to test out new things because it's going to be probably the last one we're going to get to kill before the daytime so that's the last matron i'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to kill in this and i'm going to leave the video here so thank you very much for watching today's video i will see you again next time for the next part we'll be fighting the Martian Madness next before we move on to the Pillars and Moon Lord. I'm excited to show you guys that and I'll show you my tactics for how to kill Martian Madness. It's quite difficult and thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. I'll see you in the next one and bye bye.